The Scan Pyramids project will use thermal imaging, drone-mounted scanners, and radiographic muons to create 3D models and hopefully figure out exactly how the pyramids were built. And research from Ohio University attempting to solve a dinosaur nose mystery suggests nasal passages were designed for airflow to cool blood on the way to dino brains. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. This acoustic hologram is a tractor beam that uses sound. Developed by researchers at the Universities of Bristol and Sussex in collaboration with Ultra Haptics, it can lift and manipulate objects in mid-air. Acoustic levitation like that mentioned in Mind Blow 50 had previously been hampered by limited maneuverability. But this new system uses 64 miniature loudspeakers emanating high-frequency sound with controllable output for manipulating levitating objects. Potential uses include zero-gravity environments for optimizing cell growth, containerless transportation to move parts in factories, and targeted drug delivery by manipulating particles inside our bodies. The hurdles to clear for using this to move people include the amount of power that would require and not killing them. Scientists at Lehigh University are controlling fruit flies' hearts with lasers. Optogenetics was first developed to control neurons with light, and researchers are applying it to cardiology in an attempt to create a non-invasive pacemaker. But bringing this to humans would require a great deal of further research, including what type of light to use and how to actually deliver that light source. The voice sunglasses are designed to allow blind people to see with sound. The device translates video to sound, with vertical position being frequency, left-right position to scan time, and brightness to loudness. So, for example, dark pixels at the bottom of the video would be heard quietly and with a low pitch, while bright pixels at the top of the video would sound high-pitched and loud. The system requires sensory substitution training, and they hope to further develop it by studying sensory integration in the brain. Prieto Battery is a 3D porous lithium-ion battery. In development for nearly five years, they recently created the first successful 3D battery that can be charged, discharged, and hold a charge, and just announced a partnership with Intel. Traditional lithium-ion batteries are two-dimensional, which limits speed and direction of energy, which causes long charge times and fast discharge. A three-dimensional architecture would increase surface area, allow for multi-dimensional movement, and ultimately lead to fast charging and longer battery life. Their goal is to have this available by 2018. Researchers at Okayama University have created a tube-free pneumatic rubber actuator. The system has no moving parts, and it uses electricity during the gas generation stage to create hydrogen and oxygen gas from water, and reverses the process during the gas absorption stage to simply become water again. And this gas generator could be used to power soft robots. The Jest controller looks to replace the keyboard and mouse for augmented and virtual reality. There's a race to develop intuitive ways to interact with virtual worlds, and the Jest not only allows for natural gesture controls, but also typing. And the first device kits plan to ship in 2016. Earlier this month, Sharp teased Robohan, the robot smartphone. It can walk, sit down, dance, and features voice and facial recognition. It's pretty big and heavy for a smartphone, but it's a robot friend in your pocket. So, yeah. It'll be on sale in Japan in the first half of 2016. Finally, Andy Thomas captured various bird sounds and visualized them with particle effects. I'm gonna leave you with a tensegrity robot climbing up a duct, and as always, thanks for watching.